Hello again, YouTube fans, chess playing fanatics. I have some good news. I found literally like six million games. <laughs> well, any case, in July, about three months ago, so I had put two videos up, um, and I was talking to you about computer chess, and um. The idea was was that I was trying to tell you about PGN files. You're looking at my desktop right now. Remember, watch this in high definition so you can see the writing. I was talking to you about the PGN files, and I was showing you this particular one right here has an amazing 11,000 plus games in it, and I thought that was a lot. Well, as you know, I have several chess programs, and I was explaining to you that how you should also, for your for the sake of, of learning chess, it's a good idea to have more than one chess playing program, including the Chess Titans from Microsoft, which is not a great program, except that it's cool to be able to just pull up the program and test your skills. So if you've been watching my videos, the Chess Master Academy, and I had that Chess, uh, chess Master uh, with Joss Waitzkins, um, teaching you how to play chess and if you're like me I felt like it was helping me as I was giving it to you I play chess titans and I am actually playing at a higher level but chess titans is a video game you want other programs like chess master and stuff like that I have chess x is a freebie and things like that you want these other ones to try and, and, and give yourself more ways of playing uh, if you're anything like me, I don't have a lot of people that like to play chess around me, so sometimes playing computer chess is the only thing. Now, I don't want to let you stare at my screen all day. So speaking of playing other people, um, i, I got to tell you, I've had Fritz 11 for quite a while now, it's a couple of few years, and um, I've never used it to play online. As it turns out, it happens to be one of the better ones, and and I didn't realize it. Now I'm a little bit um, iffy with it today because I just learned how to use it as far as playing chess online. But I want to show it to you. I, and if you're looking for, if you don't have the money, if you're like me and you're broke, I bought this years ago and I actually had money. But uh, if you if you're broke and you can't find, you know, you can't buy an expensive hundred and two hundred dollar Fritz program. I think they're actually. Uh, um, cheaper now you could actually buy online you can go to Fritz I think you can go to the chess places and you can get them for less even if it's the older versions but in any case there are freebies out there that aren't as good but I highly recommend if there's a way for you to get Fritz or Houdini or one of the professional chess programs I would highly recommend it and here's one of the reasons why and I'll give you another reason why in a minute I'm going to enter as a guest, I believe, to register. I'd have to pay them some money. So I'm going to... And you can't play rated games as a guest, so that's the one drawback. Um, please watch this in high definition, by the way, as always, so you can see the fine print. Okay. So this is what you see when you open up the window. Um, if I happen to be in the cafe, there's the beginners. Okay. The cafe. There's even a children's room. Okay. Uh, main playing hall. They're going to give you a little notice up on top of the screen there. If I me point my mouse to it. Sorry, you need to be a higher rank to enter this room. So in other words, you have to play some some rated games and stuff like that in order to enter that particular room. And um, but again, you can play in the cafe. You can play. Um, what says play and watch. Welcome to, to playchess.com. Just not sure. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Let's just watch a game just to give you an example. These are actually people around the world. You can see their flags. I, I don't know what that one is, but this one's obviously from the States. Okay. There you go. And there's a, I don't recognize these flags, but maybe you do. So, let me say, playing. Can I follow this one? Can I watch this one? Here we go. Double clicked it. 
So we're watching this game. As you can see, the window loads up to the colors that you set. Uh, this is the way I have my fruits set up. There's different ways. You'll see a lot of the professionals, they'll, they'll, they'll have the blue board. You could do it that way, the plain colors and things like that. I just happen to have it this way. Okay, I'm just going to close this off. And let me log out. I wanted to show you that. So you can use these professional chess programs as an online chess plan. I, I've actually used it. I've tried it. Um, <clears throat> I've got my butt kicked. I actually won a couple of games. But I've only tried it on Fritz the last couple of days. So I'm still learning how to hit the challenge button and stuff like that, you know. But I really want to talk to you about the database. You remember on the, in July I put those videos up about PGN files, the portable game notation, and how these files hold thousands and thousands of games, some of them only hold hundreds. Well, I had not realized that right in front of me for many years, the Fritz Programs database and the database that I got free on that I'll download it online which they they have available if you look for them you can google database chess databases the fritz has one and a half million games one and a half million games and the other database has almost four million games and here's this is the one i loaded it already to show you the chess base big eight I'll scroll this down to the bottom and please play this in high definition you won't be able to see this number this number at the bottom of the screen is three million eight hundred and three thousand three hundred and thirty four games so if you're looking to study some games uh, you don't need to look much further and and these databases are available online and and I think in July I showed you some of the freebie chess programs out there that, that, that will read these databases. Um, but the reason why I, I'm, I want to talk about the, the professional chess program called Fritz 11, uh, I'm not working for Fritz, you know, I'm not trying to plug them. I just happen to own the Fritz. There are several others out there. There's, um, let me think, I don't know, there's one called Houdini, there's another one, I forget. There's quite a few out there. Um, um, that are less than a couple hundred bucks. I think when this one was first being sold, it was it was damn near two hundred dollars. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get these for less money now. They're they're pretty much on sale now, uh, for maybe half that. But uh, I happen to have this one. So in any case, in the Chess Master Academy that I gave you from from the Chess Master with Josh Waitskins, uh Josh was great in teaching us end game and the whole. And had a piece of, you know, the whole uh, uh, academy thing was great. I actually improved on my chest, and I hope you did too. But as you know, Josh has this thing about learning the end game before the openings, and he kind of brushed over openings quickly. Well, I'm the kind of person that all these years, and I still don't know one opening from another. I couldn't tell you. If you asked me to, to move some pieces in a certain opening, I wouldn't know. It just so happens that this program, if you look at the top of your screen, games, openings. Now that looks like a short list to you, but in fact, that's a list of tree of lists. I double click on one of them, it's going to open up another window and another window and another window. So there's literally perhaps hundreds, maybe even a thousand different ways of looking at this window. So for example, I've always had trouble with the Sicilian. C5. Knight to f3. Okay. Um, there's, and, and if you look at this, you'll see that there are several ways. You know, move one is d4, and move one is knight to f6. In other words, they, 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 um, they tree open. Okay, so now we've got the tree opened up. Okay, so we're going to go with um, move two, knight to f6. Okay, and then we're going to go with uh, the, the base of the tree and see what comes up. And we have perhaps, I don't know, looks like uh, looks like uh, 50 or 60 or 100 games. I don't know how many are on the screen here. With Grandmasters playing the Sicilian defense and, you know, playing it differently. So I'm just going to plug one out at random. I don't care. Let me see if I can recognize anybody's name here. Maybe I can find one that I can 
If not, I'll just pull one out at random. Okay, random it is. So, here's the thing. I, I always had trouble with the Sicilian defense. I would open up with e4, and I would be playing some chess titans on, on, on windows, and it would open up with that pawn c3, c, c5, excuse me. So I would never know what to do here. Well, this particular person opens up with c3. To me, that blocks my knight. But I don't want to talk about specific openings right now. I just want to um, show you this. So I'm going to be very shortly, I'm going to be going through this myself personally to learn these openings. Because that's where I need my work. Um, I have improved since, since I was watching the Josh Waitskins and giving that to you. And I'm going to move these pieces while I'm talking to you about it. Uh, but it has come way past the time where I need to practice openings. I need to learn my openings. And practice them would mean that I know them already and I don't. So I need to learn them all together. And hopefully, perhaps you need to just practice them. Maybe maybe you're a better chess player than I am and you, you need some work on your openings. So I'm going to try and give you some of these. Now, what I would like you to do... I noticed that I have I haven't been getting any comments. Um, please, if you watch this video, please comment. Ask me what it is that you're looking for. Is there a specific opening? Maybe you want to practice. I can show it to you. If you don't have this database, um, the databases are available online. If you look for them, the program itself may cost money, but the databases are. Uh, are um, are generally for free. I don't know how good the data free ones are, but I know I got this one for free. Uh, but the one that comes with Fritz is comes with the game. Well, now as the clock strikes eleven. So in any case. Um, I also showed you last uh, July that there are freebie chess programs that can look at the PGN files. I'm not sure about the databases. The databases are CBH file extension, but uh, I pr I'm, I'm pretty sure that there are free chess programs out there that will read the databases as well. Maybe not as nice as this, but um, again, this particular program and several others that cost some money are better than the freebies because they'll they'll what I'm showing you right now is is openings I'm practicing openings um, and I'm scrolling through the moves let me see who won this game white won this game all right uh, the other thing you can see is themes Okay, and I mean, this is not something you're going to find in a freebie chess program. The freebie chess programs are wonderful for for people like me who are flat broke. I just, again, I got this program when I did have some money and I did buy this one. So, you know, it's the one professional program that I have. And then I have um, Chess Master was literally a $10 bill at... at uh, Best Buy like five or six years ago so that's not an expensive program and yet it gave you it gives you a lot it gives you the Josh Waitskins Academy and all that stuff so it gives you a lot but it doesn't quite give you this it does give you a database of games um, it does have some opening practices but again as you can see this first program and other professional programs like it uh, are based on the chess base and there's actually a freebie chess base out there you can actually get and um, aside from having this practice openings and games and strategy and uh, things like that it also was able to play online now themes we have blitz games we have rap games you have computer games and I, I'm pretty sure that the uh, Kasparov uh, deep blue games are in there somewhere I didn't even realize it. I looked for them last time and I couldn't find them in this database. But uh, apparently 
when you when you go into the program and start type you know start clicking the tabs of uh, themes and tactics and stuff you sooner or later you do find them um, here's some stuff that maybe maybe uh, Waitskin was talking about you know like strategy King's positions outposts symbols let's see let's let's look at one of these I never even I've had this game for years and I've never even looked at this particular okay French outpost knight on f3 knight on e5 all right let's do that let's let's do let's do one of them and there's another list of uh, what looks like wow it looks like thousands of games yeah okay well let's go ahead and just click a random one and I can see that it shows a knight being supported by two pawns so that would be an outpost I don't know if there's any commentary available here it shows an opening book it shows a notation um, I can get this first program to actually talk and let me see if I can get it to play I should be able to get the window to play it but in any case uh, I don't want to I don't want to mess with it right now I just, I'm just trying to talk to you about how how this program is elaborate and you know things you can do but in any case let's quickly go through this there you go I'm just gonna close this off so you have end games and there's apparently a long list of those you know I'm just double clicking on them very interesting very interesting okay um, games themselves are listed in numerical so let's take a look at the themes let's say let's say um, Say so you want to look at some blitz games or rapid games. What's this database text files? Hmm, I've never seen that one. Let's see what that's about. Text. Oh, look at this. I, I'm I'm learning this as I'm as I'm showing it to you. I'm learning about this. Hmm. I don't I don't understand it <laughs> I don't know what's going on here but I'm just gonna go back and close this off um, I think I think I need to back up on here somehow all anyway, right seems computer games okay I could probably look for right now if this this is the big database this is the one with three million games in it but I could see that the um, okay so 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 it starts at 223,852 that's where the computer games are located at starting from there but in any case if I were to scroll down to 1997 I would surely be able to find look at this computer shredder shredder is another computer program so the Grand Masters would be playing against computers for decades and uh, when IBM finally said to Kasparov I've got a computer called Deep Blue first it was Deep Junior then he says I got one called Deep Blue that that we think will beat you and the first time it didn't but the second time it actually did so if I were to scroll a little bit here, let me see if I can look for a person. I don't know if I can. I might. There we go. I can search. Use the search mask. Look for uh, Deep Blue. Okay, White Deep Blue. <laughs> Ew. Well, that didn't work. Let's um. Okay. Um, 
any case, I guess you just have to eyeball it. I, I know there's a way to search for it, I just didn't do it right. There's Anand, Vichy Anand, versus Fritz 5. Okay, so, so you know, it's not the only computer, Deep Blue is not the only computer that was the big challenger. This Computer Junior, okay, Chess Master 6000. That was, well, that was as recently as 1999. Okay, his Hierarchs, remember I told you there's other programs called Hier or other chess engines. One of them is Hierarchs, one of them is Shredder, another one is um, Houdini. Um, these computer chess program makers want to try and challenge the chess masters. And apparently Hierarchs did win on this one. Somebody by the name of or Sozy. Any case, I'm getting too much into this. I'm trying to find the Kasparov game. I will. Hey, there's Karpov, Anatoly Karpov. Okay, so it looks like we passed 1997. Any case, <clears throat> I, I know it's near somewhere. I just missed it. Um, not to get too far into everything. Uh, I, I wanted to point this out to you to show you the professional chess programs. Now, as far as the freebies are concerned, um, we have, I like this one. This one's a newer one. It's a freebie. Lucas Chess. I think I showed you this one already. Okay. It's all kinds of pretty, you know. And the database, it will open. There is training, but it's not as, you know, it's a little iffy. But, um, let me see. Let's try it. See, there's openings on this. Custom openings. I'm not sure how that works. I, I never really tried it. But let's uh, let's see if we can read a PGN. Okay, so this it's got the PGNs that I had showed you in my thing last time. I, I, I would try to open up a database, but I, I'm not going to do it right now. I think it might be able to. But at least it'll open up PGNs. And if you could save the games as PGNs anyway. So, again, please comment. I don't want to take too much time on this. Um, Chess X is another one, by the way. Please comment and ask me what it is that you want to see. Um, openings that you might want to look at. Specific players, specific players' games that you might want to see. Um, I want to tell you that I'm not an expert chess player. I'm getting better. So if you have specific chess questions that involve uh, needing somebody to explain openings to you and stuff like that, I may not be the one to do it. However, on my channel, you will find links um, to other chess channels. One of them is King Crusher, of course. My last video showed you that. Um, this is ChessX. I've showed you this one before, and I believe this one will open up the databases. Because uh, it's asking me for a new database. So let's see if it'll find it. Let me see. Can you see that? Harry Potter PGN. <laughs> I wonder where that came from. Um, yes, that was my... Let me see. Chess base. Oh, bases. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I see. It's looking for PGN. So let's... um. All right, maybe not. It's looking for PGNs. I might be able to get this thing to look for CBH, but in any case, forget that. Well, there's there's another freebie for you. I've showed you them last week or last month. But in any case, um, professional chess programs like Fritz 11, Hierarchs, and things like that are good to have. If not, there are plenty of freebies out there that are able to open up PGNs. Ask me questions, make comments. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, please comment, and keep on playing.